Hello, my friends. It's Mario Taku, and welcome to the Chika Fujiwara Waifu Review. Be stay tuned till next Wednesday. I got a little treat for you guys. You can probably guess what that video is from the intro. It's the Chika dance. But I haven't done anything special for reaching 1,000 plus subs, and my friend Evanito challenged Annie Tubers to do the dance. So here I am. Even though Kaguya Shinomiya is the titular character of. Kaguya-sama, Chika is no doubt the breakout waifu of this anime. A breakout character is someone who becomes more prominent or more popular than the central characters. Sure, Chika's dance made her popularity skyrocket, but there's more to her than just her cute dance. I feel like I have to clarify my position though. I don't think Kaguya is a worse of a waifu than Chika. They're great in their own ways, but in certain categories, Chika's got the edge. So here are the reasons why Chika Fujiwara is the superior choice. So the whole point of this anime is the mind games between Kaguya and Miyuki, trying to manipulate the other into confessing. And that's great, but when Chika is thrown into the equation, it gets even better. She's basically a living RNG because they use her to shake things up when they're cornered. And we don't know where it's gonna go. Sometimes it works in their favor, and sometimes it just blows up in their face. You might think she's clueless, but this is only because she doesn't know about their game. It's honestly a good thing Chika isn't a player. Otherwise, it's game over. And the reason why I say this is because she's wiping the floor with them. When it comes to manipulating people, Chika is too OP. You want proof? In episode 4, when they play the banned word game, Miyuki thought he was being clever, but no. Just look at Chika. That smile. Confidence. Kaguya has to say the word love, which seems impossible for her, but oh no. Spoilers! Chika wins! Both times! She kicks both of their asses! I thought she was this innocent, clueless girl, but no! These kids are playing checkers, but Chika's on that next level, interdimensional mahjong shit. She's got him wrapped around her fingers. I, even me, I felt sad for her during her speech, but that was just the bait. We all got played. They played us like a damn fiddle! But hey, it's mostly lucky for Kaguya because we've seen how many times Chika's gotten to her, like with the whole sharing lunch situation, making Kaguya super worried about Chika stealing Miyuki away from her. Like she just can't hold a candle to Chika. And also with sharing the umbrella, Kaguya and Shirogane tied, but technically, Chika won. If she was in the game with them, this anime would not last one episode. They lucked out. She was just too good, they had to nerf her. I know this is shallow and superficial, but come on. In order to determine who the perfect waifu is, you gotta take everything into account. And I think Chika wins some points off the bat. This seems like a running theme in my waifu reviews, but pink hair. That's already 10 points in Chika's favor. It enhances her cuteness. And don't forget the cherry on top, her little bow. Kaguya is refined, elegant, uh, a graceful lady who's got everything, but there's one thing that makes her jealous all the time. Now let's not forget, okay, flat is justice, but when we're trying to compare just sheer volume and mass, Chika knocks the competition out the park. Again, I'm not saying Kaguya's got a bad personality, she's got a lot going for her, but Chika also has great things going for her as well. Dedication, balls, being tons of fun. We're getting into weird fetish territory. Don't worry, we'll get into balls later. But first, dedication. When she wants something done, she'll do it. In episode 5, we see that she runs all the way to the drama club to grab the love detective outfit, even though she could have just given the advice to them in a regular school uniform. But no, she doesn't settle for the mediocre, the mundane. She's Chica! 
She'll go that far to make the joke complete. On top of that, she takes Shirogane from being an absolute dork to a volleyball star winning the adoration of all the girls in the school. I would have given up halfway trying to teach him. In the beginning, she was totally freaked out at how bad he was at it, but she plows on and makes him a star. Look at her bandaged hands! Her bandaged bow! That was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into training him. Dedication! Next on this list, balls. You heard me right. This is a manga spoiler, so here's a timestamp to skip if you don't want to hear it. But even then, I think it's worth hearing. Remember that Chica dance? Well, it's actually a compilation or reference to everything that's happened in the manga. At the end, she grabs a cockroach from the curtains and lets it out, right? And that's what happens in the manga. Miyuki is terrified of bugs, we've established that. So in one of the episodes, or in one of the chapters, he tries not to faint after seeing one, while Kaguya is trying to use that cockroach to get his attention. But right as everything is about to fall apart, Chika just walks in, looks at it, grabs it, and just lets it out the window. She's got balls. Number three, she seems like a blast to be around. I can't imagine a dull moment with her. She's super energetic, she can rap, she can play volleyball, knows a lot of non-mainstream games, makes great faces. Yeah, dude, there is no weakness. So she's the one in the student council introducing fun all the time. Here are more of her great traits. Chika is brutally honest. She lays a smackdown on Ishigami, both verbally and physically. Chika talks about the issues of never-ending war, widening gap between the poor and wealthy. She might become a good politician when she grows up, looking out for the working class. Do they even make those? But then her inner politician comes out and she tries to bribe Shirogane to increase her club's budget. Eh, I'd still vote for her. Chika 2020. <laughs> there you go. Reasons why Chika Fujiwara is a great waifu. We're already three months into 2019 and we already got great contenders for waifu of the year. There's Raftalia and now Chika. Who's next? Before you all leave, check out my friend's channel at youtube.com slash evanito for his Waifu Wednesday showdown. As of recording this, he hasn't released it yet, but his thumbnail is absolute fire, so you know it's gonna be good. Anyways, I hope you had fun. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching, stay legal, and I'll see you in the next video. Mario Kairi?